tragedy on an American highway. Ten people killed in a horrific collision. The deadly crash on I-65 in Alabama. An adult and nine children killed, including a nine-month-old baby and her father. A van from a girl's ranch colliding with another vehicle on the wet highway. Eighteen vehicles involved in the massive pileup. Claudette battering the Gulf, sweeping its way across the southeast. Heavy rain, flash flooding, and strong winds. At least 50 homes damaged by a tornado in Alabama. The system now taking aim at the Carolinas. Tropical storm and flash flood alerts in effect. Rob Marciano with the timing and the track. Also tonight, a deadly crash at the Pride Parade in Florida. A pickup truck plowing into the crowd just as the parade was getting underway. At least one person killed. New surveillance shows the moments just after the crash. The truck goes through a fence. The driver then taken into custody and questioned what authorities are saying tonight. Alarming news about the COVID Delta variant now spreading to almost every state in the U.S. The variant already becoming the dominant strain in parts of the country. Unvaccinated Americans at greater risk. Hospitals are now seeing more unvaccinated young patients and infected pregnant women. Health officials are urging them to get their shots. The Catholic Church facing backlash. Bishops taking a stand against President Biden, a devout Catholic, threatening to withhold communion because of his stance on abortion. The president calling it a private matter. New developments in the manhunt for a shooting suspect wanted here in New York, seen wounding a man on the sidewalk, opening fire just inches away from two young children. Authorities are revealing new images of the suspect without his mask. The hot air balloon crash south of Denver, several people injured, and a new heart for dad, the special gift on this Father's Day. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us on this Father's Day. I'm Lindsay Davis. We begin tonight with a horrific tragedy in the wake of Tropical Storm Claudette. Ten people are dead, several injured after a fiery chain reaction, 18 car crash in Alabama. New images just coming in tonight. Nine of the ten victims are children, many traveling in a van from a girl's ranch that seeks to help vulnerable children. Cody Fox and his nine-month-old daughter were also killed. Roads are said to be slick in the area. Officials say that one of the cars appeared to hydroplane. And we have late word tonight that the NTSB is sending a team of 10 investigators. ABC's Elwin Lopez leads us off tonight from Montgomery, Alabama. Lindsay? Just staggering numbers. Alex, thanks so much. And there is much more ahead on World News tonight this Sunday. On the manhunt for a suspected killer, the man wanted for three murders in three different locations. Investigators reveal his father is among the victims. The news tonight from authorities. And the U.S. Navy opens fire on one of its newest aircraft carriers. The crucial test. Is it battle ready? And news on the interstate manhunt for a triple murder suspect in North Bend, Oregon. Owen Nichols. Happy Father's Day. David's back tomorrow. I'm Lindsay Davis. Good night.